In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the battery on your 2013 to 2018 Hyundai Santa Fe. It's a very easy process and it will only take us less than 5 minutes. So let's go ahead and get started. Open up the driver's side door. Now, when you open up the door, you see right where your left foot would go. That's where the primary hood release lever is. So pull it over there. Now in front of the vehicle, right on top of the Hyundai emblem there, that's where the secondary hood release lever is. So put a couple fingers in there, press it up, and then pull the hood up. Now when you open up the hood, the hood supports itself in its place using those two black hood struts over there. And so when you open it up, it stays in place. Now we will be needing a Phillips head screwdriver. One looks like that in order to take those two screws off. And then we will need a 10 millimeter wrench and a 12 millimeter wrench. Both are very common tools. You can easily find them. So that's it, the two wrenches and the screwdriver. So let's go ahead and get those two clips that have a screw in the middle there. Get those two clips off using the screwdriver. Make sure you don't lose them, keep them somewhere safe. Now we can get this plastic piece out of the way. So get it up, bit of an incline, wiggle it, and then pull it right out. And it comes off. At the other end of it, there's this rubber seal. Make sure it doesn't fall off and you don't lose it. Now let's get the 10 millimeter wrench and first we will take off the two terminals. That's positive with the red marking on it. It's positive plus and that little bolt there at the bottom, that's the retaining clip bolt. That's the 12 millimeter bolt. So let's take off the negative terminal. Use the 10 millimeter wrench. Just loosen that up a little bit and then you can get the terminal off. You don't have to get that off completely. Once you get the negative terminal off, let's do the same thing for the positive terminal. Once you get it off, just get it out of the way. Now let's get that 12 millimeter wrench. And the good part about this car is there's some space over there so you can use a wrench and you can loosen up that bolt that's holding the retaining clip in place, right? It takes about one minute to do it, so be patient, but it will come right off. Make sure you keep the bolt somewhere safe and that's the retaining clip. Now all you have to do is just get the battery out of there. Be careful, the battery is heavy. Don't drop it or else you'll get hurt. Get that shield off of the old battery, all right? It's important, just get it off the old battery. In this case, I'm gonna be reusing this battery because this battery is good. So I'm just gonna put the shield back on it. Let's go ahead and put that back on the battery. Now we can put the battery back in its place. Now, first, let's just get that positive terminal in place. All right, we're not gonna tighten it right now. We just wanna get it in place. That straight edge of the retaining clip, that's what presses down on the battery and keeps it in place. So let's get the clip in place first. The good part about the position of the retaining clip is if the battery is not positioned correctly, the retaining clip will not be in place and you won't be able to bolt it down. Let's put the bolt in and tighten that up. Now let's try and shake the battery and see if it moves. See, this one's good, it doesn't move at all. Now we will tighten the two terminals, starting with the positive terminal first. We already have the positive terminal in place. Let's just get the 10 millimeter wrench, tighten it. Same thing for the negative terminal. Tighten that with the 10 millimeter wrench. Now we can put that big plastic part back in its place. It goes in at a bit of an angle. Make sure it's all the way in there. Right. And then just get those two clips that hold it in place. When you're putting those clips back on, you can just put the clips down and then press the middle part in. You don't have to screw it. In order to close the hood, simply lower it and slam it shut. That's pretty much it. If you like this video, we got a lot more videos made just for your vehicle. So check out the playlist over there. And if you have a friend or family who can benefit from this video, please share with them. Till then, drive safe and thank you for watching.